All right, what we're going to try to do here is find where this function f of x equals secant x over 2 is discontinuous. We'd like to find the discontinuities of this function. Um, specifically why I chose this one is I also wanted to mention something uh, as far as what happens when you have multiple discontinuities and we can see that happening on the graph here um, because secant is uh, periodic. It repeats itself over and over and over again. How, how would we express lots of discontinuities at, at once? But um, we'll, we'll get there soon. Um, let's first of all just try to figure out where this guy might have a discontinuity. Why why is the function breaking apart at these individual places? What What is it that's making that happen? Well, ho hopefully it's pretty clear what, what's going on here. This trig function secant uh, can be better expressed as 1 over cosine. And when we write it that way, we, we more clearly see what the issue is. Uh, we know that you can't have 0 in the denominator of a fraction. It makes an, an undefined value. And cosine is 0 a lot. It's 0 um, quite often. So every time that cosine hits 0, we're going to have division by 0, division by 0, division by 0, which is going to create all these asymptotes every so often. So um, what we can actually do is over on some, some scratch paper over to the side, we can write cosine of x over 2, and we can basically ask the question, where is this equal to 0? Because if we can find those places, that's going to be where the discontinuities are. So let's, let's think for a minute, um, and for this we have to know our unit circle, so it's very important to know our unit circle well. All right, where along the unit circle is cosine equal to 0? And by the way, we're going to ignore this little part on the inside for a minute. Just think about all these points along the unit circle. Where is the cosine 0 along the unit circle? Hopefully you said right here, right, 90 degrees or pi over 2. And right here, the cosine or the x coordinate of the point is 0. Okay. So what, what are we going to do? Well, this angle needs to be these things. Now if it was cosine of x, period, equals 0, x would need to be these angles. But that's not what I have, but that's not a huge deal. Um, simply x over 2 needs to be these angles. right? Now that might make x a different angle because you would have to divide it by 2 to get these angles, but what a, at the end of the day, x over 2 needs to be these angles right here, um, regardless of what x is. So uh, I'm going to write them out in a list here. Right? x over 2 needs to be pi over 2. And uh, I'll just list it in a list here, comma 3 pi over 2, or 5 pi over 2, or 7 pi over 2, uh, so on and so forth. And I can just do a dot, 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 because you see how many of them there are, right? There's lots of places that would make cosine be 0. But now, when I ask for the discontinuities, when I want to want to find where the function's discontinuous, I want the x values. I don't want to know what x over 2 is, I, want to, I just simply want to know what x is. So I've got a little bit of extra work to do to solve for x. Just a basic equation, how would we solve for x? Uh, hopefully we would all say we would multiply both sides by 2, right? This is a slightly abusive notation, so forgive me. The, normally we don't write these out in a comma separated list, but I think you get the idea. Um, cancel these twos here and so x and x alone would just need to be pi 3 pi 5 pi 7 pi uh, etc it's pretty clear all the odd multiples of pi okay so in a sense that's our answer right that that is where our discontinuities are now the only thing I'd like to finish this up with is how do we express that? Do we actually just write down a big long list? Because I have not listed them all. Does the dot 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 suffice? Mm, that's not really the best thing to use. So what we're going to try to use is a shorthand notation. This is used quite often, so, so I want you to watch what we do here. I know I'm getting all the odd multiples of, of pi here. So I'm going to express x as blank pi where I'm going to try to write some generic formula that will generate all odd numbers in that parentheses there. Now to explain this, let me actually go off on the side here for a moment and, and I'll, I'll show you how we're going to do this. Uh, I'll start with the evens. The even numbers are a little easier to express. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Dot, dot, dot. Do you see how we can express this right here as 2k, right? 2k where k is an integer, right? If we let k range over 
all integers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc., and you double all those numbers, you see what, what do we get? 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. You get the even numbers where k is an integer, and when you double it, you get the evens. So how would we express the odd numbers? Well, what you do is you, first of all, make a number even, and then you add one or subtract one to kick it off track, right, and send it over to the odds, right, because the way that you would make the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 look like 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 is just by adding one to all these. So it would be 2k plus one, or you could say 2k minus one. And that's a shorthand notation to generate all the odd numbers without making like a, a comma separated list. So our final answer is we would say we have discontinuities where x equals 2k plus 1 in parentheses pi that's 1 pi 3 pi 5 pi 7 pi etc uh, where k is any integer right we have to specify what k is and it should be said it doesn't have to be a k you could use an n or a j or a, uh, you know there's different letters that are used I just arbitrarily chose Okay, uh, quick little side note before we're done. We're practically done with this, these problems here, uh, with this problem. Uh, what type of discontinuity is it? If you recall, there was two types. There was a removable discontinuity. I have a video on this in case you haven't watched it yet. And there's also a non-removable discontinuity. Removable means you can make this graph continuous if you could redefine one point or you could redefine where the discontinuity is. Non-removable means you, if, you, if you can uh, redefine one point if you're allowed to, it doesn't matter what you would redefine it as, it still would not be continuous. I think this all these discontinuities are of the non-removable type because just look at it. Let's Let's look at um, like this discontinuity right here. Um, if you could redefine the y value right here, there's no way you could pull that, that portion of the graph that's tending towards infinity together to make it connect with the part that's going to negative infinity. They're just going too far apart. So if they're just basically broken like this, we would say it's non-removable. But if it's a type of discontinuity that simply has a hole in the graph with, you know, possibly a point redefined somewhere, that would be called removable. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand discontinuities a little bit better, uh, specifically the ones uh, that happen a lot with trig functions where we get repeated discontinuities over and over and over again.